Genetics matter most. Genetics matter fucking most. You are your genetics. You are... You know, that combination of... Whatever, you know, I ain't no fucking biologist, but... Your genetics, your DNA, man, that is who you are. That is what you have to offer to the world. Right? You know how you'll see dogs, and some dogs, they are, you know, they're, you know, a German shepherd. You know, they're big, they're strong. They, they could fight. They could protect you. You know, that's what they offer to the world. And then you have, you know, a wiener dog. You know, he's small. You know, he can't defend you from something too big. You know, maybe he could defend you from a rat or a raccoon or, you know, something. You know, okay, whatever. And then you have something like a poodle. You know, or like a pug. Like, they're just gonna get, they're just gonna get eaten. You know. Their genetics are what they are. They are loved for their genetics. You know, people love dogs. People love horses or camels or cow for their genetics. They're like, oh, look at this big beefy cow, man. We're going to get tons of meat off of this thing, you know. And then there's a scrawny, weak little cow. And they're like, you know what, man? That thing ain't reproducing. That's the same thing with humans. It's the same thing with human beings, you know. That's why, why do you think... There's things like, you know, racism. Because some people don't value certain people's genetics to the degree that they value someone else's, you know? Why do you think girls love Chad? Because Chad has them fucking good genetics, you know? If they mix up with Chad, you know, that baby has a higher chance at success in everything. If you're short, your genetics are short. You know, you're going to get a title like Short King or Manlet. And if you're tall, you know, those are your genetics. You know, you're going to be tall, a tall Langlet or, you know, whatever. But your genetics are everything. Your genetics are who you are. You can't change them, you know. Sometimes... You know, you'll look at yourself in the mirror and there'll be things you want to change about yourself. And, you know, you can't. That's just who you are. Like, you know, you could go get surgery, of course, but that's not who you are. That's not, that's not who you really are. Right. And the brutal thing, the black pilling part is you could come from the same dad and the same mom as obviously your siblings and they could have so much more success than you. They could literally, like, mock you in life, you know. Or even, like, intelligence. Like, like growing up, you know, you used to get told blue pill shit. Like, oh, everybody, everybody's the same. Sorry. Hold on. Everybody's equal. Everybody is smart. Everybody could be smart. Like, you really think Albert Einstein and, you know, some guy who fucking uh, dropped out in the first grade have the same type of genetics you know you really think that they're equal no like one of them is far superior intellectually than the other that's why they would fly Albert Einstein around the world to spread his knowledge spread his fucking wisdom they're not flying that guy that dropped out in the fucking first grade around the world Your genetics are everything, man. Your genetics pretty much determine who you're going to be. Like, if you're 5'8", you're never going to play in the NBA. You're never going to play in the NFL. You're, you know, you're never going to really be, you know, intimidating. You know, people, you know, other men are going to, you know, look at you as less. You know, you, your life might be full of having to prove yourself, having to, you know, defend yourself. But if you're six six, if your genetics are, you know, that you're six six, everywhere you go, you're gonna be the biggest guy. Everywhere you go, you're gonna get respect. Everywhere you go, dudes aren't gonna, you know, try to fight you that much. 
Your genetics are everything. Your genetics tell you your life. You know, you, if you if you sit there and you analyze yourself, you could literally get you could view what you're gonna do. If you have a big dick, you could go off and be a fucking porn star. You know, if you have a big dick, you could go through the world knowing you're gonna be that girl's imprint. Like, there's not going to be another dude like you that could rock her shit. You know, or if you have a small dick, you know your, your life's going to suck in the sexual bedroom, you know. You know damn well when it comes down to, you know, smashing, there's going to be levels of disappointment from the female that you can't, you can't, you know, fix. Or if you're, you know, average, you know, you might be good, but you're never going to be that you know, the best, you might not imprint her, so your genetics, man, they tell you everything, they tell you what type of life you're gonna live, same thing with, like I said, with dogs, you know, if you can't tell a, you can't tell a fucking, you know, a freaking, you know, pug, a teacup, a teacup dog, that they're gonna be a fighting dog, you know, they're gonna go off and fight pit bulls, you know, you can't, That's just not what your life is meant to be. You know, you're you're gonna die. Your IQ, all that shit, your intelligence, even your decision-making abilities and skills, they they come from your genetics. You know, I've been seeing this thing on the internet about Mike Tyson's neck. Like, oh, this is Mike Tyson's neck. At his prime, it was like, I don't know how fucking wide of a neck it was. But they're like, oh, this is Mike Tyson's neck workout. Like, dude, you guys are so stupid, man. Like, you guys really think that shit isn't genetic you seriously think you know strength you know and you know muscle uh size potential isn't genetic you know there's some you know damn well there's some goof thinking he's gonna get a mike tyson neck you know and he's doing the mike tyson workout and shit and it's like it's all genetic man you know it's all genetic. If I was to right now be like, you know what? I want to be an NBA player. I'm going a, I'm to a train my ass off. I'm, it, <laughs> you know, it'd be, people would laugh at me. You know, that's another re, like a reaffirming thing. Like, you'll want to do something and people will like tell you that's not for you. You know, if your whole life you've been an introvert, you've been socially awkward you know, your genetics are that you're socially awkward, that you're a spurg, that you stutter, and then you tell people that you're gonna go become, a, you know, a stand-up comedian or some shit, like, people are gonna tell you, like, hey, man, I don't think that's for you, you know, and people could be like, oh, that's, that's evil, you should never shoot someone's hopes and dreams down, it's like, that's what the whole black pill's about, it's about telling you the truth, your genetics fucking matter, you know, like, there's times I sit there and I'm like, man, why can't I be more charismatic? Damn, why can't I be more, so, more socially outgoing? Why can't I be, you know, an extrovert? They're like, bro, that's your genetics. My dad was the same. My dad was an introvert. My dad was never a public speaker. You know? Like, that's my gene. My genetics are to be an introverted guy. So for me to try to even punish myself like for something that's beyond my control you know a lot of this shit is just genetic a lot of your your shortcomings you know the things you struggle with they're genetic man like your genetics are who you are bro like if you're I'm Mexican you know my genetics derive from you know Mexico you know, I'm brown. I'll never, like, I'll never be some white guy's first choice for his daughter. You know, some, if, it, you know, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, genetically, that's not what he would want for his daughter. He'd probably want a white guy, which is totally understanding. It's, you know, every race wants their own race, you know, their own genetics. If you really break, you know, it down, you know. A lot of things are just genetic. You know, when someone says, I want someone that's tall, you want someone whose genetics are tall. When someone says, I want someone who's funny, 
you want someone whose genetics are funny they probably come from the fucking gestures of the medieval times or you get what i'm trying to say like a lot of this shit you know people are just looking for certain genetics everybody's playing god you know pick nitpicking trying to artificially select what they want and a lot of us have shitty genetics a lot of us have shitty dna we just you know that's what the truth is if that's not what it was then your life would be different right like i was never fast you know i was never i've never been fast so for me to think that i'm going to go and be on the line with Usain Bolt it's pretty foolish you know it's pretty freaking foolish man and that's you know that's the whole you know thing about you know natural selection or or just like you know what's that shit called where you know like your genetics just don't get passed down you know, that's in the bible some shit up you know the the bible's always talking about spreading your seed and you know, multiply and shit. And it's like, <laughs> God, I can't multiply if you gave me some shit genes. You know? Women don't want my genetics. Because you're literally in the embodiment of your genetics. That's that's who you are. You know, your, your genetics are who you are. If you're a type of person who, you know, has short limbs... You know, maybe you got some really short arms. You know, girls are going to look at that and maybe be like, I want that or I don't want that. Or, you get what I'm trying to say? It's all about your genetics, man. Yeah, a lot of shit's just about your genetics. Like, I don't even want you guys beating yourselves up sometimes, man. Hating yourselves, you know. Wishing you were dead. All this type of stuff. Like, it's not you, dude. It's just your genetics. That's just how... It works. It's the luck of the draw. You know, you'll always see people, you know, fanboying and fangirling over other cultures. And, you know, people obsessed with, you know, the Japanese culture and trying to speak Japanese. And it's like, you know, that's them pretty much hating their own genetics, hating their own DNA, hating where they come from. You know, like you'll, you'll always see these, like, you know, dudes that are watching anime and talking about Japanese culture and they're, they, you don't look like you're from Japan, <laughs> man, you know, you don't look like you're from Japan. So it's all genetic. It's all literally like certain genetics have certain culture. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, what do you associate like Mexico with? Oh, it's violent. People drink, you know, people party. That's what their genetics are associated with. Their genetics are associated with party and mayhem. So certain people don't want those genes. You know, like maybe someone from like China where they're all about work, 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 progress, progress, progress. You know, they probably don't want to have a a Mexican kid that might want to party. Or you get what I'm trying to say? My grandma used to say some shit like that. Like... If you break down a lot of the things people tell you, like, into scientific terms or whatever, they're usually always talking about DNA. They're usually always talking about genes. You know, my grandma once said, you know, don't ever be careful if you ever adopt a kid because you never know who their parents might be and what their fucking characteristics are like. And that's some true shit. Like, maybe that if you adopt some kid... You know, maybe his his dad's a killer. You know, his dad kills motherfuckers. And it's in his DNA, and then he kills you. You know, you gotta watch out with this shit, man. Watch out. Peace out. <laughs>